Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Drew R. And right now we're going to be taking a tour of the newly renovated ShopRite of Brookdale here in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Before we get into today's video, make sure to click the like button, click the subscribe button, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out with the videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the new and improved ShopRite of Brookdale. It used to be a um, it used to be a little bit more outdated than it is now. Um, before you know the store was never you know run down or anything like that but um the store prior to the renovations was uh it could have used a facelift it was just kind of drab i guess you could say but um i'm walking through the parking lot right now as you guys see just kind of getting the intro to the video started um and um i'm gonna show you guys how much the store has actually changed and uh it's actually really, really nice now. So there's plenty of different areas now. Um, however, one of the complaints about the store since the renovations has been that the prices have gone up, you know, and you hear that again and again, you know, with inflation and everything like that. Um, but I am going to tour the supermarket so you guys can see for yourself what it looks like now. And I gotta tell you guys, the looks now, are pretty much better than ever coming across the street right here this car is kind of blocking where i was going to get in but uh I, oh as, as you can see we have a guy here putting in his jugs of water which i think he can redeem for money i'm not too sure but uh I think one of the biggest complaints about the store is the parking the parking here is really bad there's not enough parking spots or the store is so packed that all the parking is full as you can see a little bit of confusion there we're going to enter the store now normally when you come in you have usually some older people that grease you when you come in um as you can see dice so you can dash so it's just like diced up fruit easy on the go looks like we have some um more frozen meals and some salads this is the produce section of the store but we also have this area called the, the, the smoothie bar now it's only open from 9 a.m to 5 p.m daily so it's closed right now because it's about six o'clock but you can pick up juices there as you can see Alyssa we got some um, Chinese food meals and um just stuff like that they use they have express checkout but it's closed right now usually it is and here are some beverages as you can see we have an organic section here a lot of organic produce um, and some beautiful apples as you can see just look at that very very nice supermarket the weather today though the reason why i'm out today is because the weather is so nice i think it's about 65 degrees today so the weather is just fantastic we got the chinese chinese food right here as you can see we got some noodles some chicken this is like the jelly area the food area we got some sushi here as you guys can see right here is a coffee machine so basically put a dollar in take a cup and you get an espresso here's the bathrooms the bathrooms are very clean now they used to be they used to be like eh, okay but they've definitely gotten better with the bathrooms so here we have some raviolis some pastas even some pizzas right there from Uno. That's pretty neat, you guys. Now we have like the salad bar here. They used to have a better salad bar before the renovations, but as you can see, it is still pretty good. Got some pre-made sandwiches, some cold cuts. Well, here's the jelly right here, as you can see. Look at how nice it is here. Look at how organized they keep everything. It's beautiful. And they even have a kosher slicer, as you guys can see. It looks like they're doing some work in the back, so I really apologize for the noise, but I can't control that, unfortunately. So we have some more fresh produce here. As you can see, this here is where they keep a lot of the frozen seafood. If you want fresh seafood, you'll have to, you'll have to go to the seafood area. Look at how organized they just keep everything. Really, really neat and in order. Here we have the cheese section. A lot of fresh cheese here. As you can see, French, American, Italian, a lot of, a lot of mozzarella. 
And here we have some a lot of fresh juices. Not fresh, bottled juices, I should say. Yep. Like I said, one of the biggest complaints is that the prices have gone up since the renovations, but uh, you know, with inflation and everything is to be expected. As you can see, you got some beautiful mozzarella cheese here. And I think they also got uh, Beretta cheese. That's very creamy cheese, you guys. I think they got three as well. That um, contractor over there is so loud. <laughs> Definitely getting in the way of my video, but that's all good. As you can see, they got a lot of fresh donuts, fresh bread, and their bakery. Just look at this, beautiful. That's a tiramisu, you guys. I'm not kidding. As you can see, you have like your, you know, to-go cakes. They even have like cakes in a cup. Birthday cakes, looking beautiful. This is fresh seafood section. Looks like we got some salmon, catfish, a lot of shrimp. And even some live lobsters. You can get a live lobster for 19 bucks, people. More frozen seafood, mussels, tempura, shrimp. I actually tried this, the Budweiser beer battered cod. It was delicious. So now we're gonna go through the health and beauty section and the pharmacy area. Look at how nice they keep everything. I got some soap from them a couple days ago. It was this soap right here, cherry blossom. They also got Irish Spring, which is my favorite as well. As you can see, this pharmacy here look, definitely a lot more quiet. The pharmacy used to be very dated in the supermarket, but they definitely, as you can see, they've definitely changed that. And now it's very nice. Um, as you can see, we have the Coinstar machine, which I use frequently. It's basically a machine. So if you have your coins, you can just pour them in there and they'll give you a receipt. And then you take it over to the customer service counter, which is right there, and they'll give you cash. We got a lottery machine, brand new New Jersey lottery machine. All the allergy medications in the spring, we'll definitely need that. As you can see, we got a lot of mouthwashes, as you can see, and toothpastes as well. Tampons for the girls. <laughs> um, Q-tips, you know, those cotton swabs that you put in your ears, razors and everything like that. We also got some makeup as well. A lot of makeup. So now I'm gonna tour the uh, butcher section, um, the meat section basically. So we got a lot of uh, meats here. As you can see steaks um, and stuff like that. Right here actually is a uh, chopped cube steak, which is very good if you're making country fried steak. Perfect for that. Look at that. Look at this nice cut of meat right here, you guys. This is where you'll find, you know, all the chicken and stuff like that. They even have uh, chicken gizzards and chicken paws, which is kind of crazy. Um, but you also got, this is where the organic chicken is and sausage and steak. If you really want the best cuts of meat, you gotta come straight to the butcher block and they can hook you up. So something I've noticed, you know, over the past couple months is the, just the prices of meat. They, they vary. Depending on any brand you get, they all vary. So I'll show you guys an example here. So this steak right here is nine bucks. And this one right here is eight bucks. They're virtually the same thing. This one's this one's eight forty-five right here. This one's nine forty-nine. Makes no sense. You'll also find this one is thirteen bucks. This one's fifteen. They're both the same. Now they do have cheaper cuts of meat as well. Like this one's only seven fifty-five. This one here, right here is $5.45. But if you want something more expensive, you get this, $38. But I think it's on discount, so you can get it for $27. Uh, all right, so over there is more grass-fed beef. They even have a beer section now. I think they had beer but before the renovations, but um, they didn't have as big of a selection. Now I think they have craft beers, which is pretty cool for the hipsters. All right, you guys, so... I'm gonna head into aisle number four. Numero cuarto. So this is, we have some snacks here on my right. Got some soda on my left. We also got some diapers, we got pampers and greeting cards, as you guys can see. A lot of greeting cards for all different types of occasions. You can also get gift cards here, as you guys can see. A lot of gift cards. There's a baby screaming and it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> you got candy, a lot of candy here. Lots and lots of candy. I had these 
a little while ago. They're very good. These are good too. The Haribo Happy Cherries, very good. Baby stuff, all that, baby food. <laughs> um, Hot Wheels, they even got Hot Wheels. No, these are these are Hot Wheels. These are Matchbox, but beautiful. Even have a um, pickup truck, a food truck, ping pong balls, stationary stuff for like school. Here we have all the checkouts. And they even show you how the logo has changed oh, sorry. since the 50s. So we got a lot of coffee here. As you can see, you got McDonald's, Green Mountain, Dunkin' Donuts, Cafe Bustelo, and then Starbucks. A lot of cereals as well. Tons of cereal. More coffee, as you guys can see. The person that comes over the um, loudspeaker talking about the deals is very annoying. Look at the wide variety of teas. You got Earl Grey, chai tea, green tea, sweet tea, raspberry tea. Oh my God, I'm about to break that little boy's neck if he keeps on screaming. Hot chocolates, as you guys can see. Um, oatmeals, granola bars. Apples. Applesauce, they're getting ready for Easter, as you guys can see. You can get Easter eggs, stuff like that. All right, we're gonna go into aisle six. Mm. Buffalo wing sauce. I made buffalo wings using that sauce. Very good. Vinegars, pickles, olives, macaroni and cheese, as you guys can see. Annie's Craft, Chef Boyardee. Man, I haven't had Chef Boyardee in ages. We have um, the lasagna casserole pans. These are for like chicken and stuff. Pots and pans, you guys. And of course, your seasonings. A lot of um, McCormick's as well as, you can also get your um, Jello here as well. <laughs> Look at that, Kool-Aid Jello. Uh, Jell I've had Kool-Aid Jello, it's actually pretty good. A lot of cake mix, a lot of syrup brands. Remember when uh, Pearl Milling Company used to be Aunt Jemima? Man, those were the days. So before the renovations, this used to say, thank you for choosing your Brookdale shop, right? But as you can see, they changed that. Plenty of rice, as you guys can see. Yep, they took off Uncle Ben as well. Because apparently having a black person on a logo is offensive. But when there's a white person, it's perfectly fine. I never understood that, you guys. I think that's actually kind of foolish, kind of stupid. But as you can see, a lot of canned goods instant mashed potatoes which are disgusting beans rice they have candles you can even get some um jesus christ you can even get the pope right there how crazy is that you can get salsa tacos the canned sauce i usually make my own you know from canned tomatoes not the stuff in the jar but ragu, I, surprisingly, I know the Italians are going to come after me, but I really enjoy the taste of ragu tomato sauce. It's actually really good. Got your plenty of ramen noodles, plenty of pasta from, you know, nice brands as well. And then you got your more basic brands as well. Campbell's soup, um, beef broth, chicken broth, all that stuff. Um, and as you can see, for pretty good prices as well. Not very much. We're going to go into... Aisle Ultra 8. So this is like the soda aisle. You got your drinks, your, uh, your snacks, and a lot of water as well. Deer Park is my favorite brand, personally. And their prices are very good for water as well. This gallon right here, 119. I remember it used to be 89 cents, people, but that changed. Oh my God, that kid is still screaming, you guys. Then you have your more bougie waters, if you will. You, these are like the bougie ones up here. <laughs> seltzer as you guys can see snacks Uts potato chips are really good wives are actually my favorite seltzers sodas mm -hmm. i'm gonna show you guys yeah wives are definitely my favorite salt and vinegar is really good your wide variety of sodas uh and all that stuff look at how organized this is like guys this is just like i know there's no such thing as perfect but this right here just the way it's like section is just like perfect yeah guys beautiful now this store still has plastic bags now a lot of stores are banning plastic bags this one hasn't yet but the other day i purchased a reusable bag right there so now we're walking down like the cracker the juice aisle right here which is aisle number nine 
I love Kool-Aid people. Kool-Aid, especially cherry Kool-Aid, it's my favorite. Cheez-Its, delicious. Goldfish, really good. Guys, these used to be um, $2.49, but they lowered their price to $2.19, that's good. A lot of juices, pomegranate juice, strawberry, watermelon, tangerine, orange juice, apple juice, V8, really good variety. You got all your Snapples. Remember when Snapple used to be in the glass bottles? I remember those days. Uh, Gold Peak, Pure Leaf, all the tea, Arizona's. Yes, Arizona's are not 99 cents here. They're 79 cents, people. No joke. You can actually get a can of iced tea for 79 cents. Gatorade, Powerade. We're gonna go through aisle number 10 now. This is like the cleaning aisle. As you can see, you got all your freshener, air freshener, the stuff like that, your cleaning products. Um, I love this aisle because I clean a lot. So you can also get brooms, mops, all that stuff. Dog, dog food, pet food. They got all that now. Well, they always did, but it seems like they have a bigger selection now since the renovations. They even have WD-40. So that's good. Guys, I've been recording for almost 20 minutes now. This is the paper towel aisle. They have, look at all the light bulbs. The paper towels, which is my favorite. Because <laughs> uh, if you're just like me, you go through so many paper towels. It's actually maddening. Your fire logs, your coal, your dish, um, I mean, your laundry detergent, more, you know, toilet paper. Remember back in 2020? None of this would have been here back in 2020. We got our all tide gain all those brands now we are approaching the dairy section look at that reddington farms that's out west um as you can see just such a good variety of milk and dairy here got pillows <laughs> um candles rice cakes and drake's cakes drake's cakes hostess cakes i love where are the chocolate ones <laughs> the chocolate ones with the cream in them oh my god they're so good I'm not a big tasty cake person. You can get, get t-shirts and socks here. Panko breadcrumbs, bread, cups. These ones are for the college fat people. <laughs> the, those types of people, if you know what I'm talking about. A lot of bread for, you can get Sarah Lee for $2.99. Peanut butter. This is where you can get like the gigantic, I think these are like what, five, 10 gallons, $7.99 as you can see for those. Now, we're, now we have all our frozen fruit, frozen veggies, um, and just the TV dinners, the pizza. Tony's pizza. Tony's pizza is very good, people. We got our frozen french fries, frozen onion rings, hash browns. They even got uh, banquet meals too, which are, Kind of disgusting, actually. <laughs> Texas toast, very good. I haven't had Texas toast in a while. Gorton's fish, which is disgusting. Don't get Gorton's fish, people. Around here, you can get butter, two for seven. You can get shredded cheese for $1.99, or you can get cream cheese for $1.49. You can get Greek yogurt for about a dollar. Orange juice, all the juices around here. Man, I haven't had um, this lemon tea in I think the last time I had that was like 2016. We got our frozen, you know, like our um, dino nuggets. My brother's 11 and he still likes dino nuggets. <laughs> Somebody help me. Checkers rallies, really good. Yogurts, as you can see, they even have kombucha, which is pretty gross. It's kind of like this hipster ass drink. Uh, 369, as you can see. Toaster strudels. Do they have apple strudel? Yes, they have apple strudels. Sausages, uh, Cool Whip, but the ShopRite brand, which is a dollar cheaper, is called Whip Topping. Because <laughs> they can't, you know. Look at that little kid. He's kind of fudging with the doors. Got a lot of ice cream here. Klondike. What would you do for a Klondike? Have you seen those uh, commercials? Blue Bonnet Butter. I love the consistency of Blue Bonnet Butter. Um, plenty of eggs as well. I normally get the ones in the white in the styrofoam cartons. Turkey Hill ice cream. Looks like they have a great variety. Strawberry cheesecake. Never had it. And of course you have Friendly's. Friendly's is a very popular brand here in the Northeast. 
friendlies. They got uh, good humor. Good humor. Ice cream. There's a lot of nostalgic people. We got bacon on the left. Got it. And we got more cheese. More cheese. More ice cream. So uh, here's their sign that says supply update. Due to ongoing production shortages, many varieties of cold cuts are in limited supply. Ice cream cones. Little bites are disgusting. If you ever had little bites, you know how gross they are. They taste just fake. All right, guys, so we're now in the front. They have plenty of self-checkouts. Before the renovations, they didn't have self-checkouts here, which is something new, which I definitely like. The only thing with the uh, self-checkouts is uh, they take a lot of jobs away from people, but it seems like they have more registers than they did before and plenty of people in the customer service. The people at customer service are very helpful, very friendly as well. Joe's not working today, but he's very friendly and he will definitely help you out. Last place I'm gonna show you guys is the uh, floral, the florist here, which is, uh, look at these beautiful flowers. Perfect for any special occasion. And then of course the elevator, but that's all employee only stuff. So I can't go in there. So that's gonna be for today's video. Hope everybody enjoyed. Definitely not a quick tour, but a great tour of this newly renovated supermarket. Um, something I wanted to point out is that you can get dragon fruit. They, they sell dragon fruit, people. Just the amount of stuff in the store, the variety, the cheap prices. I mean, I know some things here are expensive, but there's some things that are actually really cheap. 49 cent bananas. 99 cents for carrots. See these carrots right here? This entire bag's only 99 cents. Just the prices. And most of the employees are very friendly and helpful. This is just an amazing supermarket. Hope everybody enjoyed. That's gonna be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless to everyone.